I think Lake Tamami is such a special place for me because it brings me closer to my cousin. I know he's gone, but a little part of him kind of sits and resides with me and when he when we come to Lake Tamagami, I just feel like I'm right there with him and enjoy every single moment with him. So this is Lake Tamagami. On. Honor? On. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. All right. That's a nice fish. That's a beauty. Oh, I love it. We're riding. The thick of northern Ontario and it's it's hard to it's hard to get better than this. This is beautiful. Welcome back to another episode of Backlash Angling. Uh, it is our annual trip up to Lake Tamagami. It's the second annual Lucas Graham Memorial Tournament between the four of us. And we are super super excited. It's uh, about 10.30 right now and we are about an hour and ten minutes from getting onto the ice. Uh, I, I can't even express how excited I am to get out on Lake Tamagami. Lake Tamagami holds a pretty special place in my heart. I have great memories with, uh, with my cousin and uh, overall it's just a great place to be. I love being out on the ice, I love sleeping on the ice, I love doing it all. So really excited to get that going, just get everything situated, get the, get the hut all ready and like I said last year when I started doing my vlogging stuff, I'm ready to get a line in the water. We are going to be going after some whiteies and some walleye and definitely probably going to hook into a couple lakers just because just because they're roaming. Although they, although they are out of season, we will we will live release them. Holy, just transport central. Let them go. Well, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm super excited to get out there. Uh, we got my brother and my dad and uh, my brother's good buddy. So we're hopefully going to slay them this year. We got a bunch of electronics um, like last year. so. I don't know, we're gonna do our best and uh, we'll see you when we're out on the ice. Let's go. We are lock and loaded. We are loaded up. Got everything going. Everybody's getting into warm clothes right now. So we are just waiting on John. I swear every single guy out or uh, outfitting guy out here, his name is John. Just must be a tomogamy special to be named John. So we're waiting on John, and then we're uh, gonna get this thing all attached up to a snowmobile, and uh, we're gonna be out in our hut in uh, not too long. I'm getting pretty excited. I can't wait. I got uh, a Laker biting us 25 minutes and that's my guess. So stick with us and uh, we'll see what we can get. Alrighty, so we are out here all set up. We're just getting everything rigged up. We're getting, we got about six to eight rods going and already just a game changer from last year. Just having electronics out here is stupid. Like we have no clue last year what was going on down below our baits. And already we get the pan optics set up and uh, I'm gonna get the tripod set up with the GoPro just so we can keep track of like what's going on with the with the, the fish down below but there's right now right at 75 feet there's a laker that's been up on the pan optics and on the sonar and it's just hovering around this bait I'm trying to entice it with some some pull-ups and it's, it's just not really it's not really active it's pretty uh, timid fish right now so once we get a once we get one that's pretty active I'm sure it'll come hit but yeah, it's kind of just cruising back and forth and you can actually see it on the pan optics which is pretty cool so hopefully it goes eventually and then hopefully some more roll in so we got one where we got we got a minnow right near the bottom and then we're throwing what are those spreaders down there yeah there's some white fish spreader. yeah we got some white fish spreaders going down and then we got a swim bait tipped with the minnow at about 75 feet so have a chance at everything so we're gonna keep grinding and uh, hopefully we get a fish here real shortly was so cool. You watch it? Man, I watched the whole thing. No way. Unbelievable. Here. Let me get it all, talk Literally about it. Unbelievable. Literally watching the hummingbird, I see something just pop up or whatever, like drop down, drop down, boom, boom, bring it up, boom, bring it up, 
Boom, so cool. Blossed it the whole way up. So she chased oh. real good. Oh eh? yeah. Like literally exactly what you're saying, just like chase it all the way up the wall. Right. Probably like chase it 30, 40 feet. Yeah, man, it's insane. Like they just go right after. Isn't that crazy? Get a measurement on her and let's get her back in. I just had one that was kind of hot and heavy at uh, 25 feet at the... Oh, uh, 23. Right on the 23 mark. Yep. Right on. Here. Yeah. Alright, we'll get a, we're gonna get a couple quick pictures and then we'll get her back in. There she goes. Oh. Let's go. Sweet, eh? Let's go. Of course, I'm sitting in the main height here, just thumb up my butt, and they got a they got a nice 23 inch lake or whatever. Well, I'm gonna keep grinding out here though, and. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep her going. All right. I know that's a bycatch right there, but like when you're out here, you're not exactly targeting them. You're you're jigging down low, but when you get a mark, you don't know exactly if it's going to be a lake or if it's going to be a whitey, right? So you gotta you gotta catch where you gotta be, but it's important. You gotta be cautious about this. They are out of season right now, lake trout. So it's so important to keep them healthy, keep them in the well, uh, like in the water, so that you can healthy release them and then just get them back in the water. There's plenty of fish to eat down here. There's no need to be poaching lake trout. So there's white fish to catch. They're delicious. Walleyes to eat, delicious. So like I said, when we catch a laker, which we're bound to catch here, a few here and there, we'll get them back in the hole as quickly as possible and get down. Clearly that was a healthy release and honestly, great fish. Love catching lake trout, so super cool. And uh, I hope I can pound one here soon. All right, so laker time's over. Whitey time's over. We are right in the mitt of Ling hour. We are hoping that these tip offs to, uh, tip ups start going off, but uh, I wanted to break it down. I, I kind of mentioned earlier in the video that we have a tournament going on, so like I said, Lucas Graham Memorial Tournament. We got Lakers, Whiteys, and Walleyes. So what it is, is it's the top five fish of all categories. If you get the biggest okay. fish in that category, that's five points. You work your way down, you get the fifth biggest, it's one point. You guys can figure that out. If you catch a laker and it's not healthily released and doesn't go down, that is minus one point. And the big twist here is if you catch a ling over 20 inches, that's what we said, right? Yep. That is minus, or no, sorry. Plus. Plus, plus one, one, plus one point. Yeah. All right, so big lings count. All right, we are doing chicken wings tonight, so those are gonna be pretty dynamite. We're gonna hope that we can catch some lings here, but uh, stay tuned, they're gonna be Smoking some uh, some tenors here, and uh, chicken wings are gonna be bomb. And uh, hopefully we can get some more on the board. I don't know what else to say. That's pretty much it. Let's go. Welcome back. It is day two of our tomography trip. Uh, obviously, from the video you saw, we didn't have much luck yesterday. Um, we ended up with that one 23-inch laker. And last night while we were sleeping, a ling ended up getting hooked up so right now we're, we got two fish not too impressive but new day new mentality we're uh, right now I'm just jigging with a with a like a glow-in-the-dark spoon kind of deal tipped with a minnow our main focus right now and this morning though is fixing our generator because if we do not fix this generator we lose all our electronics and the camera too so we gotta get that fixed or else we're in trouble. So hopefully we get that up running and hopefully some fish start biting. <laughs> followed it right up on the followed it right up. It was sweet. <clears throat> How's she yeah. feeling? Feeling good, it's finally to get it. Took drag too. Took drag? Oh yeah. Peel oh. drag. Oh, there, there is, there See is, it? there is. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the hot. This is the hot. <laughs> Same hole too. Same hole, yeah. Yeah, I'm on your line there, that's your yeah. line. On the spoon, eh? Yeah, I was jigging to try to attract them, and then we saw the line. So it came up on you? We, we were jigging and saw, to saw the line, and then so I pulled up to the line, and then he started to follow me up, oh, yeah. and then did you bam, keep, he did hit you keep reeling? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Followed it right up. For right. sure. Let's go get a measurement on her. All right. 20. 
Ooh, 20 and a half, I think. 20 and a half? <laughs> Come on, baby. Hey, holy. 20 and a half? 20 and a half, yeah. Sure. Not a bad one, eh? She's pissed off. All right, licker number two. Dad caught that one, it was 20 and a half incher. We just released her. Like I said, you gotta get them down. There's still two weeks out of season. Obviously fun to fight, but it's not our, our target species. We're still looking for some whiteies, so we're gonna, we're actually right around the right time. This mid afternoon is when they like it. The barometer should be kicking up. The sun's kicking out, so barometer should be high. We got some shit running right now. We got, uh, got some tip ups on the bottom. We got two lively, like big emerald shiners on this rod that are about four feet up. And then I got a tube jig way up in the water column for the chance of that bycatch laker. But other than that, we're just gonna keep keep messing around and hopefully they start coming in. That's the plan. Hopefully we can get some whiteys for, for dinner tomorrow. And then I think we're gonna be uh, getting some uh, walleye holes drilled for later on tonight. So that's the plan for us. We need some more fish though. Let's get it. Hey, right, fish on. Just on a tip up here. You said it's got weight? Yeah, it's got weight. I couldn't get it off the bottom for a while. Oh shit. How did it hit like a lady or a laker? Uh, no, no, like a. I mean, gosh. Oh shit, take a while. Take a while. <laughs> Lots of nice lakers. Come on. I need a head. Lots of nice lakers. I'm gonna make it hug it. Let's go. That's a good laker. Yeah, man. Oh. Look at that. All right. That's a nice fish. That's a good fish. Here, we'll get her out. Oh no! All right, I just took the tripod oh, off wow. there. But that's a big Laker. That's a nice Laker for tomogamy. That's big size. You can't even see me in the picture right now, but we got the bump board. Where's the bump board? Right here? Where is that bump board? Oh my god! There's a bump board somewhere in here. Oh, it's up. How's it going? Good, yeah. Not too bad. All right, measurement on this. That's a 28 inch Laker. 28 inches, boom. That is a nice fat fish. Just came on the tip up, just a minnow. Nice and simple. That's a beauty. Ooh. Get back in. All right, I'm gonna get a nice release of this. It's best to just hold her there. You don't need to pull her up, in and up, like that. You just wanna get her, let her get her breath. There she goes. She's ready to go. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. I got two to two inch on the tip. Pop up. Oh, really? Go, yeah. Holy crap, that is sweet. That was awesome. Caught that. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. We got that last second as we're let it, literally going out to the walleye hole. Dad yells at me and he's got that piece on. What a fish. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. So, pretty much end of day two. We uh, we ended up just getting a ling right there on our far hut, but uh, figured I'd try to close this video off because I'm hoping tomorrow, I'm really hoping that tomorrow is a good day and I can make that its own separate video. Definitely gonna have the first two days on one, but uh, Honestly, today was pretty sweet. We had uh, ended up with, what, what was it, uh, three Lakers, uh, one Whitey, and I think two Ling. So, yeah, good day overall <laughs> compared to yesterday. Hopefully tomorrow we really hit them. We're going to have that separate hut tomorrow, uh, and then we're going to have three huts to work off of. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, going to close this off and hope that tomorrow is a great day and I can make a video on its own. And... Uh, if not, then this will be completely irrelevant. But uh, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, make sure to subscribe because we are still at below the hundred mark. So you have that chance at a couple free hats. Not this one, but uh, the new the new edition. So uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for the view and uh, subscribe for that free hat.